Hello everyone, welcome to How Much House for the Money. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. Cheers to all of you. It's always good to be with you. So today, these are the properties we're looking at in a new state of interest. Check this big, beautiful brick out. It's on a quarter of an acre for 129.5. And this house here may be somebody's mid-century modern dream on a half an acre for 74.9. And this house here may be the great starter that you're looking for on a quarter of an acre for $44,897. So we're going to be checking out the details on these properties as we venture into the beautiful state of Illinois today. So for any of you that want to move to Illinois, you're going to be living with around 12.5 million people. And for the real estate tax rate, we're looking at 2.08%, which is coming in higher than that national average at 0.99%. So let's check out this home. This one looks amazing here. Okay, so this one is a beautiful brick beauty, and it's 129.5, and this one is in Charleston, Illinois, 61920. It's on a little more than a quarter of an acre. So when we look at Charleston on the map, we are in the county seat of Coles County. The population was 17,286 in 2020. So here we are, so we are southeast of Springfield, Illinois. We're right below Tuscola, and we're right above Effingham. So Indianapolis, Indiana is over here on the east. And then we have Paris over here to the east. Terre Haute, Indiana is right there. And then here's Charleston. And this is where the house is. And we're at 770 12th Street. This is 129.5. This house has 3,031 square feet of living space. It's on a little more than a quarter of an acre. And it has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Now this property has been on the market for 24 days. And it was built in 1858. Let's see what we're getting for 129.5. Look at this. It is so pretty. So we have a covered porch and then we have an upper balcony. Beautiful brick home with some beautiful detail along the roof line there in the front. We do have some landscaping, but we can always add that pop of color. We can always add some Illinois perennials. And today in Illinois, it's 53 degrees and they're getting some rain. And the remainder of the week is supposed to be in the mid-50s and 60s and some sunshine per the Weather Channel. But this looks absolutely beautiful. So here's another angle of the front. Just covered in trees for a lot of shade. This is very pretty. And this is one of the larger homes that sometimes these larger properties sit on the market a little bit longer than your typical two and three bedroom, two bath houses because they are an undertaking. So when you view this home or if you're interested in purchasing this one, make sure you ask the agent how long it's been vacant, what the utility bills are. And we have to remember that we're getting the house, the parcel, the well, the septic, and the utilities. This looks really pretty though. I love the detail around that roof line. It looks like we are getting a screened area on the back. Yeah, look at this. Nice. We have a shingle roof. A little more than a quarter of an acre, and we're looking at 129.5. And according to Redfin, houses in Illinois, the tip or the median sale price is $292,000. And the houses that have been listed over the course of the last year in Illinois. Uh, the amount of houses listed increased 2.8%. The prices also increased 7.1%. However, the amount of homes that have sold in Illinois over the course of the last year decreased 7.1%. And according to Redfin, houses on, in Illinois are typically on the market for 46 days. And here we're looking at 129.5, way below that median sale price. And that's what this channel is all about. You're welcome to subscribe to the channel. You're welcome to hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what brings you to the channel. And if any of you are youngsters out there just getting ready to graduate college or you're going into college, maybe you want to buy a home, make sure you venture through these episodes so you can see what kind of house you can get in different states and different towns because it's amazing uh, the houses that we can find way below the median sale price. Make sure, all, make sure you always get that home inspection. Make sure you have the appraisal. So, okay, here's our screened porch here. That's really cool. You could have a lot of plants in there. That is really pretty. I bet that gets really warm also. That might not even be, it looks like screen, but it could be acrylic. And of course, when you're there in person, you get down to the nitty gritty and fine details. But this looks really pretty. Beautiful brick house. Okay, so here we have exposed beams, white bright interior space, gorgeous staircase. 
It looks like it curves right up around there. That is so pretty. We have a lot of blue. Now beneath the carpet, we could get lucky and find hardwood flooring. So we do have some exposed brick on the interior as well. That's very nice to have a wood burning fireplace. We do have a couple of window seats. How nice is this? Looks like we could move right in here. And again, we are in Charleston, Illinois. Very pretty. So we have some built-ins. It's so nice that it's a white and bright interior space. Here's another angle of that room there. Okay, so now we're moving right on into the kitchen with some more blue. We have blue countertop. Nice island there. We have a gas range with an overhead microwave. Really beautiful cabinets. And we do have some open shelving as well. And it does look like there's carpet in the kitchen. Beautiful woodwork. Do have a double sink. We have a double refrigerator with a nice maker. Matching white appliances. Very clean. Move in ready right here. Under 130000 And we're in Charleston, Illinois. And in Illinois currently, there are 27,416 houses for sale. And 10,782 of those are under contract, meaning they are pending. So that leaves 16,634 active listings, and this just happens to be one of them. And this is under 130,000. Very nice. Okay, so here is another area of the house. Wow, look at this. Good sized property right here, over 3,000 square feet of living space. So there's a loft area, like a catwalk. Hmm. Be a really cool place to have a home office up there. Entertainment area. Okay, so here's another wood burning fireplace. A lot of beautiful built ins. Look at that stained glass window over there on the left. That is beautiful as well. Look at how nifty this is. All these little built-ins and nooks and crannies. That looks a lot of fun. Looks like you could just curl right up in there when your fireplace is roaring and curl up with a good book. Turn the pages to a new story of your life, right? Why not? Look at that beautiful stained glass. Beautiful. Now here we're moving into the bathroom. Very nice. Does have carpet. It looks like carpet. It could be vinyl, so don't quote me on that. This looks like it's vinyl. And this is a second bathroom. Wow, look at this. That's groovy. <laughs> and of course, the, you know, if you don't want carpet, we can always roll it up and remove it. But those are very nice built-ins. I'm not sure which room we're in right now, but it's very funky nonetheless. And that's the beauty of this channel. So we just never know what we're going to get. A lot of beautiful cabinets. Wow, a lot of storage in this house. Okay, so here is another angle of that room. Looks like we do get some closet space. Okay, so here's another bathroom with more carpet. Wow, this just goes on and on. It's a very funky build right here. And this would be an undertaking for somebody, of course, but it is a brick structure with some significant square footage on a beautiful parcel, loaded with character. Plenty of room there for outdoor activities, an outdoor fire pit, coffee and conversation, an evening cocktail, and there's our deck. Very nice, you guys. Beautiful, there you go. Cheers, everybody. Looks like we are in a neighborhood, 
and it looks like we're getting sidewalks for walkability and that adds value to a property. We do have an outbuilding here as well. So this is a nice little area. Maybe you could put a hot tub up there or just another table and chairs. Very nice, very unique property. 129.5 and we're in Charleston, Illinois. Look at that patio space, fabulous. This is an amazing house for the money. Wow, so there's a little outbuilding there. It'd be interesting to know the history for this property. It may have been part of a larger parcel at one time, but it really looks interesting. This would be a fun one to see in person. Looks like we do have HVAC in the back. Wow, this is amazing. And there's a diagram of the floor plan. And again, this one is in Charleston, Illinois, at 770 12th Street. And this is 129.5 on a little more than a quarter of an acre, and that's 3,031 square feet of space. It's been on the market for 24 days, built in 1858. Charming two-story brick house built in 1858, offering limitless potential with over 3,000 square feet of living space, original features intact, in addition to all the custom stained glass and unique built-ins. Sold to someone who will appreciate historical architecture and eager to add their own personal touches. And when we look at the history on this property, it was listed in October for 129.5, and that's where they're currently listed, and it's 166 years old. Beautiful property right there. Let's look at our street view. And there we are. It looks like we may be on a corner, but we're definitely in a neighborhood. Very nice. I bet it's very walkable town. And we want to research the areas when we're moving into new areas. You definitely want to research and learn more about the neighborhoods and things, but that looks very, very nice. It looks very well maintained. 770 12th Street in Charleston, Illinois. Beautiful. Okay, now we're moving into Oakwood, Illinois. This one's on two acres of land. Oakwood, Illinois, and we are to the west of Danville. We're to the east of Champaign, so we are to the east of Springfield, so we're not too terribly far from the previous listing because Charleston is right down here to the south. So we're north, a little northeast of where we previously were and so we are in Oak Wood, and we are at uh, 15775 Pollywog Lane. Now, this house has some amenities to it because you're in a community, so there might be a little bit of an HOA. It says $25 a month. This house was built in 2010. It's been on the market for 102 days. It's two bedrooms and one bathroom with 1,308 square feet for $85,000 with two acres. So let's see what we're getting. This looks really cute. Little Cape Cod. So we do have a shingle roof. We have a screen porch. Look at how cute this is. Just about the right size too. Not huge, not quite 1,400 square feet, but definitely larger than 1,000. Beautiful covered front porch there. Gray exterior. Looks like it might be wood-sided. Pollywog Lane. And it's on two acres of land. Isn't this cute? Looks very nice. Looks like we could move right in there as well. And then we do have another porch, unless that's the one that they showed in the front there. So here we're moving right on into that screen porch. How nice is this? So we have a set of French doors to get us on into the inside. Beautiful place to sit in the morning and listen to the birds sing. Okay, look at this, beautiful. So here's our living room with hardwood flooring, beautiful fireplace. Looks like that might be paneling that they've painted yellow. Gorgeous woodwork and windows in this house. Looks really clean going to have to look past for uh, personal belongings. But here it's a pretty much an open plan from the living room right on into the kitchen. Very nice. Nice photographs for this listing right here. It almost looks AI. I mean, it doesn't even look real. It's very nice nonetheless. 
Okay, so now we're moving into the kitchen. So we do have an, a counter here, two-tiered counter. Now, if somebody wanted to, they could move this table and chair out of there and en enlarge this. So you could have counter high chairs there if you didn't want a table and chairs and utilize that bar area a little bit more. Here's our beautiful kitchen. We have brown countertop, double sink. We have a window over here on the opposite side. We do have a gas range with an overhead microwave. Look at that really cool window seat. We have a double refri or refrigerator with a freezer on the top. I don't see a dishwasher in this kitchen. So it looks like we have white cabinets and then a pale yellow. Very pretty. That may be pantry space behind that louver door. How cozy is this? Okay, so here's a full bathroom here with the ceramic tile flooring. It's not often that we see brown for an interior color. It's very nice. It works well with this house. They did a very nice job. Okay, so here's a bedroom with carpet, beautiful windows. This looks like it's on the second story. Here's the full bathroom, single shower, walk-in shower there, nice vanity, beautiful finishes, ceramic flooring. This is very nice, $85,000 and we are in Oakwood, Illinois. Here's another bedroom. This one looks like it's on the first floor. We could move right in here. This may be the second story. Pardon me for the, I think the other one, unless this is, because it looked like the other bedroom was on the top floor, but I could be wrong. So here we have a couple of twins or single beds. This is adorable. Good size room, lots of storage. And here is the basement. Very nice, looks very dry. Looks like they do have a dehumidifier down there. And of course, home inspections speak volumes. You wanna find out again, how long the home has been vacant, what the utility bills are. This is very nice though, for $85,000. And again, the real estate tax rate is 2.08%. So here we get a view down the hill. And again, this is in a little community here. So you're gonna have some amenities. I think we have a lake. Look at this. Wow. Hmm. Well, it's not a lake, but there's definitely a waterway here. Wow, this is something. So it looks like we can get right down the hill, maybe have a little dock space. Great place to go fishing or just dip your toes in the water and watch the fish swim, why not? This is very pretty. Your own little private oasis here in Oakwood, Illinois. Yeah, look at that. I put a floating dock out there. This is a very interesting piece of property. Okay, very nice. So there's the staircase. That'll keep us physically fit going up and down those stairs down to that water. Woo! It's a little bit of an incline. Beautiful place, though. That might be a little outbuilding there. Hmm. Very, very pretty. So let's... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Plenty of place for our campfire. Hmm. Let's find out some information. This looks very interesting. 15775 Pollywog Lane, Oakwood, Illinois, 61858. Now, this one's been on the market 102 days, 1,308 square feet, built in 2010. And it says here, serene retreat nestled in nature's embrace, delightful two-bedroom home built in 2010, offers both charm and modern amenities with added potential for growth. Upstairs is versatile and can easily be transformed into a third bedroom to suit your needs. You are a member of the exclusive Pollywog Association. You'll have access to a host of exceptional community features, a clubhouse, 
full commercial kitchen, uh, water rights, a boat slip, and it also has RV and tent camping spots, hiking trails, fishing rights, and there's also a fish, fish cleaning station at the clubhouse, and it's set on approximately two acres of land. So that must be the community itself set on two acres. And let's see, the home features a cozy wood-burning fireplace, 4,000 BTU AC unit, and the property is complemented by several outbuildings, a shed by the lake, power motor racks, and a boat, boat dock. So very nice, filled with amenities there, and it was just listed. So there's probably some longevity with home ownership, and the property's 14 years old. That's great. That's fantastic. And that, again, is Oakwood, Illinois. So let's see, did I open that up? I think I did here. Hold on. Here we go. And I wanted to see the satellite view here. Here we go. So this is Oakwood, Illinois. So this is the satellite view here. Camp Robert Drake, Salt Fork, Pollywog Association, but it doesn't tell us the water. Hmm, I don't know why it doesn't give that information, but anyway, that is where it is. We are in Pollywog, at Pollywog Lane. And uh, so that is a very interesting property right there, $85,000 in a little community with amenities. Go fishing every day if you like. Okay, so now we're moving into Bellevue, Illinois. Look at this cutie. This is a mid-century modern dream right here. It's on a half an acre and it's 74.9. So we look at Bellevue, Illinois. We are in the county seat of St. Clair and population was 42,404 in 2020. So we're not far from St. Louis. We're right here in Belleville right below Swansea and we're above Wilderman. So here we are, not far from St. Louis by any means. And we're above Collinsville and we're above Smithton and Freeburg. And this is 2113 East Street, Belleville, Illinois, 62221. It's only been on the market for five days. It was built in 1952, four bedrooms and two bathrooms with 1,642 square feet, good size house. I love these mid-century modern, it just has that flair. So we do have an attached garage Gravel driveway, looks like a brick structure. Yeah, actually might be side, that's sided. Be interesting to know if it is brick or a concrete block with siding on it, but it's very cute nonetheless. We're looking at 74, 74, nine. And again, Redfin states that the median sale prices for houses in Illinois right now are just under 300000 So we do have some landscaping around the outside. Nice, light, and bright white exterior. There's our little outbuilding. Do you have a concrete pad there for your patio space? It's better to have an outbuilding than not. Now we're moving right on into the inside. So we have a wood burning fireplace. That's nice. And again, always have those home inspections, get the appraisal. So here we have maybe a laminate flooring in the living room. Here's our kitchen. Very nice, a lot of cabinets. Do have a window above the double sink. Vinyl flooring in the kitchen. We do have a refrigerator with a freezer on the top. We have an older electric range. That thing will probably last forever. <laughs> Very nice. Very clean. It's another house we could move right into here. So here's a bedroom with some closet space. Be nice to see the closet. But we do see carpet in the bedroom here. So here's one of the bathrooms, ceramic flooring, nice size vanity, looks like a spacious bathroom. Does have a closet there, linen storage, so that's always nice. Wow, look at this, knotty pine. Nice built-in on the wall there. Very pretty interior space. And this could be another bedroom. There's some closet space. 
So we do see paneling, and as we've seen many times in these episodes, we can paint paneling, we can modernize it and spruce it up and lighten it up. We see a lot of paneling in these houses, a lot of paneling. And of course, you can always take paneling off. You can lay drywall if you'd rather have that seamless style to the wall. So here we have our mechanicals. It's a nice room, vinyl flooring. Here's another area of the house. Like another little kitchenette. That could be maybe a little guest suite for somebody. That would be fantastic. Maybe that's on the lower or maybe on the back side of the house. How nice is this? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that looks like a little ensuite, guest suite. That's fantastic. So if you have a college student at home or you have a high schooler who wants to have their own space or if you have an in-law, this is really nice. If you want to share expenses with somebody, this would be great for that. And again, we're looking at $74,900. Here's our attached garage. And we're in Belleville, Illinois. Nice. A lot of useful space right here. Looks like it may be a fenced yard. One less thing a buyer's got to worry about. That must be that outbuilding. Good size outbuilding with a concrete floor. Many uses for that. Okay, so let's get some details off this one. 2113 East A Street, Belleville, Illinois, 62221. Built in 1952, 74.9. And it does have a spacious four-bedroom, two-bath ranch, attached single-car garage, and additional outbuilding. Uh, the home has an enclosed breezeway, providing access, access to the large living room and a fireplace and lots of natural lighting, galley-style kitchen, dining room with knotty pine walls, four spacious bedrooms. And the primary bedroom has a private three-quarter bath while also providing the opportunity for an in-law suite. And uh, so that's very, very nice. And you have a half an acre here located near all Metro East thoroughfares. So that's really nice. You have a lot of local amenities and this was sold in 2018 oh, i'm sorry got to move down a little sold in 2008 for 58,000 then it was sold in 2011 for 56,000 it was sold in 2018 for 60,000 dollars it was listed in october for 25,000 then they removed it and now they're listing it for 749 and it's 72 years old this house very nice and there is our neighborhood view. So again, you want to do some research on the neighborhoods. There's our American flag. Cheers to that. Cheers to everybody. Looks like a nice neighborhood. Very cute house right there. And that's in Belleville, Illinois for $74.9 on a half an acre. Built in 1952. Been on the market for five days. Awesome. Now we're moving into Decatur. This one is in, let's see, the county seat of Macon County where the population... Tell us the population, 70,522 people, 2020. So here we are. Here we are in Decatur. So we're to the east of Springfield. We're to the south of Forsyth. We're above Macon and Mount Zion, right here in Decatur, Illinois. We have Oakley up here to the northeast. We have Harristown to the west. Warrensburg up here to the northwest. So here we are in Decatur, Illinois. And this one is at 943. North 35th Street. Now this is $44,897 on a little more than a quarter of an acre. So we're reducing the price. It's two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's not even been on the market two days and it was built in 1925. So let's see what we're getting. This is really cute. Look at our covered front porch. Very cozy. So this is a partial brick house with siding and a black shingle roof. Love that covered porch. Under $45,000. Gotta love it. Looks like we have a detached garage, a gravel driveway. We have shutters around the windows. Under $45,000 when the median sale price is just under $300,000. And again, we're in Decatur, Illinois with this property. 
And we have to remember we're getting the well, the septic, the utilities, the house, and the parcel. Okay, so now we're moving right on into the inside. Looks like we have a wood-burning fireplace. Looks like laminate flooring. Looks very clean. Have some nice architectural detail moving us into the next room there. Now again, if you didn't want this color wall, paint is not the most expensive tool in the box, that's for sure. Okay, so here we're moving into our dining space. Looks like we have a cedar lined closet. We have a set of slider doors to get us out to a deck. It's a big dining table. So we do have some dining room space there. That's always nice. Looks like that room is a lime green. Those look like hardwood floors, but again, when you're there in person, you can get down to the details. Here we're moving into the bathroom. Ceramic tile, pedestal sink. It's actually a powder room. Oh no, there's the full shower. There it is, a full bathroom. Okay, so here is a view of the kitchen. So we do have pantry space, we have a dishwasher, quite a bit of counter space there. And there is your sink. We have a double door black refrigerator with an ice maker. We do have a flat top range with an overhead microwave. Very nice kitchen. We're looking at under $45,000 with this house right here, you guys. This is amazing. And I will say that when I've done my research in Illinois and even in previous episodes, you can find a lot of bang for your buck in Illinois. There's one two-story log cabin. I've talked about this one before and I checked on it before I started this episode. They've reduced it. It's on four acres of land. It's really close to the Missouri line, but it's 39.9 and it's a two-story log house. Check that one out because it's well worth the money. I mean, you could offer them 35 or 30,000. They might take it. It needs a clean out. You'd have to have your gloves and you'd have to have a dumpster, but that's a pretty cool property on four acres of land. And especially if the well and septic and utilities are, in, are good to go, you're already ahead of the game. But this looks like a very nice house for under $45,000. Beautiful flooring, ceiling fans. This may be a bedroom here. Looks like vinyl windows. Here's another bathroom. We could move right in here. Does have a lot of linen storage there. Could add some hardware to the cabinets. Here's maybe another bedroom or an office space if you work from home. If you're a first time home buyer, I'd be looking at this if you're in Decatur, Illinois, or if you're looking for a retirement home, or if you're an investor and you're adding to your portfolio. But if you're just dabbling or dipping your toe into the real estate market, I'd definitely be looking at this house in Decatur, Illinois. And look at this, we have a detached garage. Looks like we have a chain link fence. Hmm. Cute little property right here. Here's your little courtyard space. This looks very nice for the money. So let's get some details off this one. 943 North 35th Street, Decatur, Illinois, 62521. Built in 1925. Charming two bedroom, two bath home. Offers a blend of classic character and modern amenities. Built in 1925. You have a cozy fireplace in the living area. Ample cabinetry in the kitchen and plenty of storage. Kitchen is fully equipped. One of the bedrooms has a Murphy bed, making it flexible space for guests or multi-purpose. And outside you have a fenced-in yard for your outdoor activities, or your, and you also have a back deck and a one-car detached garage for your storage space. And uh, when we look at the history on this one, it was just listed. 
So there's probably longevity, which is what we like to see with home ownership. Gives you a lot of history on the property. And this house is 99 years old. Not a bad little buy right there, you guys. And again, the real estate tax rate is 2.08%. Look at how cute this is. Wow. If anybody looks at this, leave us a comment and let us know. This one looks really nice. But again, we want to do diligence. And there's our American flag blowing in the breeze. You got to love it. And this one, again, is in Decatur, Illinois for $44,897 on a little more than a quarter of an acre. Or we have one in Belleville on a half an acre, that mid-century modern style house for $74,900. Or if you want to live in a community with some amenities and you want to go fishing right outside your steep staircase, <laughs> this one's $85,000, built in 2010. Or if you want this big, beautiful brick beauty here, uh, built in 1858 for 129.5 on a quarter of an acre. This one is in Charleston, Illinois. And that'll do it for today, you guys. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And you're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And because uh, you never know, the house you're not looking for, maybe in the next episode. And I just want to remind everybody that please let's not forget to drop off supplies for our friends in Tennessee, the Carolina Mountains, South Carolina, Georgia, and of course, Florida. People still need supplies that were affected by Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. And uh, until the next state of interest, you guys, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. It's always good to be with you. Cheers, everybody.